Everyone knows how a hoist, a crane, or an overhead crane works. However, not everyone would guess how important it is to use a suitable sling for them. What does this mysterious word stand for? It's a component most often attached to a block hook, used to suspend, tie down, or support the load being lifted. It is vitally important in industry and construction where strength and precision are required. To see how such slings are manufactured, we visited XR plant in Bielsko Biała. Ready? Here we go! The plant specializes in polyester slings and belts. Their production begins in the sewing room. It is here where the tape arrives, which is cut automatically into the appropriate lengths and then travels to the sewing station. The wildest and most durable tapes, handling a weight of 20 tons, are 300 mm wide. The products take its final shape on special sewing machines. The polyester slings, and there are several thousand of them being made here every day, have the highest possible safety factor, that is, 7 to 1, for one declared ton of strength. The polyester must bear 7 tons in a braking test. No wonder they are internationally certified by Duff Nord. Endless slings, also made of polyester, got their name from their shape, a type of very strong, flexible sleeve filled with polyester fibers. They are made on a machine, which first winds the yarn into a core of the appropriate length and then weaves it into a sleeve also made of polyester. Finally, sewing machines sew the whole thing together with a label. And in the sealing machine, the slings or lashing strap are wrapped in foil. In this form, they will be sent to the customer. We now take a look at the automated production facility for A2 closed circuit polyester belt slings. Their maximum working load is 2 tons. These are single use slings mostly used in the metal and construction industries, such as for moving partition walls. On the production line, picked up tape first passes through an ironing machine and is then cut to the appropriate size. Another segment of this multifunctional machine cuts the information labels, which along with the tape sections go to an automatic sewing machine that joins the slings together. Finally, transport carts roll them up, strap them with a banderole and transport them to the bulk packaging. The robotized line can sew slings from 23 to 63 millimeters wide and from 50 centimeters to 5 meters long. It produces from 600 pieces to 1,200 pieces during a single shift. However, XR is not only about polyester. Metal rope slings are also made here. First, the steel rope is cut to the approximate length. Then it goes to a press where a loop is formed and an aluminium sleeve is crimped. The press presses with a force of up to 1,500 tons. Next comes a machine that thermally processes the ends of the rope into a cone, which protects it from unraveling. The slings manufactured here use ropes of up to 66 millimeters which translates into lifting capacities of more than 50 tons. And here we can see the production station for chain slings. They are formed from various components, chains, links, connecting links or hooks. They are selected according to the specifications of the order. On the cutting machine, the chain is cut to the right length. And this is the only mechanical process at this station. The rest is folding and hammering by hand. No matter the material used in the manufacturing process, all slings need to be properly marked. The tags contain the serial numbers and information about the lifting capacity, length and the mark of the production standard. Now, the braking tests can begin. Horizontal Tension Test Bench Machine After entering the strength parameters of a given product into memory, carries out a so-called braking test. That is, it stretches a sling or belt for as long as it takes until it breaks. Stringent safety standards ensure that this doesn't happen later under normal operating conditions, because what is meant to hang shall not drown or break. 